Side missions always have some kind of weird modifier to spice things up. But as it turns out, not every modifier is created equal, as you guys are about to find out. My name's Xavier, and welcome back to Gears Tactics. All right, boys. Blue, yellow, blue, red. Let's get it done. I like these colors. Right, Where are we going? Uh, oh, it's the bridge thing again. Oh, okay. We've done this one before. So we need to come over here to get the purple chest. There's nothing else anywhere over here. And the next two will, of course, be across the way. Mm -hmm. I actually can't wait to see Michaela's super Understood. sniper in action. Now then. Let's get uh, Sid, our tank, all the way up. I want to see something right now. Yes, okay. there we go. We see something right now. I'm a little bit worried that Sid's kind of excessively up there, but eh. If we could hit one of those guys, can you guys even imagine? 32%. Okay. I understand their odds, uh, but I'm thinking, why don't we boost that a smidgy? Little empower for two actions. All right, let's go for the 62. If we hit it, it's going to be beautiful. If we don't, oops. Oh, it's beautiful. What a way to start a mission, huh? Oh, we have shots over there, too. I thought we can really hit them, though. Just two regular drones. I suppose it makes sense to pin them. Got him suppressed! Uh, <laughs> was that a 10 for... Uh, okay. <laughs> Charlie J's 10% bin. Wow. Not a bad start. I really did think that one would get suppressed as well. Oh, well. Okay. How does one handle a situation like this, I wonder? I really just want to have Charlie J shoot like an absolute boss. The problem is he only has that one shot from where he is, so let's toss out Yield El Granade. Toodle Frutal, Mr. Friend. That's awesome. Who's next? next up, we'll just go for casual Overwatch, because I'm sure they're going to move up. Probably into the same corner they just were, and also this guy will move. My guess me. is here. Wow, these odds are horrible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just defend then. Watch. We can sit here all day long if we need to. Here. Advancing. <laughs> Setting up a kill zone. What a cool looking Overwatch. Here they come. come on, boys. In my sight. There it is. Come on. God, Charlie J is a boss. Yep. Yes, he is. What a war zone this feels like. 45 45. What are we currently at? Only anchored plus 20. That's not that much. All right, let's give him some 45s, right? My god, that's gory. I never actually saw it from that angle. Now, we got crazy crit on Sid, but wow, 29% chance to hit. Range 41, modifiers 20. That's from the mission, I believe, and 10 from the evasion. Wow, that's right. The mission has 20% chance to miss on everybody. No wonder why things are so hard to hit. Look at this, 49%? All right, let's give it a whirl. Fast fingers. No, we won't do it. Just normal shot. Watch us crit. Nope. Okay, now we'll go for the fast fingers, because why not? Woo! Okay. Precision something? We have a 10 with precision shot. Let's precision over here. Scanning now. This is highly awkward, but at the same time, I suppose that's I the smart thing to do. I see you. 
Awesome. Oh, God. No, Sid. No. Well, hey, he was in cover, though. That wasn't even that bad. I like how the game's telling me to kick the tickers away. I've never, I just never do that. Oh, Charlie J. Crash. <laughs> Only one more. Oh my god, it's so fun. Reporting. But I haven't had a Gabe kill like that in a very long time. I'm on it. Let's see what we've got. Standing by. <laughs> Looks like we had disciples out there, and that's about it. Not a big deal. Oh, wow. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Drone, drone, disciple. There's at least nine things on the border right now. So here's the question. Can we land a grenade here this turn? No, not even close. They're super grouped up, but they're yeah. all really far apart from one another. I think we're just gonna have to zoom up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a grenadier back there, okay. I like the mix of enemies we're getting now. So the second crate is here in the middle of this room and there's a purple one down there. That's probably all three. Come down this way and hit up the objective from this direction. Seems like the most logical course of action. Everything is still super far away, so we'll just keep moving. Standing by. All right, they're really not making much moves here. Let's go. This is so weird. Like, we know there's a million of them out there, but we're just kind of running around in the back alley, going for, like, shopping trips and whatnot. It is kind of cool that you can actually use the maps this way to perform maneuvers. Now we're talking. There's got to be like 15 active enemies on the map right now. Time to do our thing. Grenadier is our number one operation, as they say. Let's go yoink the chest. Awesome. Do we have line of sight? We do. We just need to flip them into aggressive mode. Now, what's the best way to do that while well, also simultaneously taking care of some Goombas out in the middle of nowhere? Well, no shot on this guy. What's actually right there? We have a shot. Doesn't it seems like it'd be super, super obstructed though, so I'm not going to bother with that. Here is a much more fun idea. The tickers will probably get close enough to not quite blow up Michaela right here. This one over here could, potentially. Let's throw this out. Okay, now we need Gabe to come into position. Ten percent! Whoo! Okay, close range, 65. Will this be enough to make him berserk, though? That's my question.
Yes, it did. Oh, please tell me I didn't block on her. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> what a moron. All right, boys. We're going to have to actually boost empower you. Michaela to get out of the way of all awkward things. On the move. Now, Sid, Ready? if you'd be so kind. Charging. Okay, let's pull him back now and see if we can't take down this tickler. Well, if we shoot him... Wow, 10%. Never mind. 39 with the sniper. I guess we'll just go decent range overwatch. Pretty sure this guy's going to want to run through here, so we'll catch him maybe as well. Not bad. <laughs> Charlie J, it's all right. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it why is it still funny is the real question. It is pretty hilarious though. It just feels like you're just toying with the enemy. I'm ready for this. 57%. Well, if anyone can do it, it's Charlie J. Awesome. Wait, did we not kill it? it. it okay. Somehow we got bonus anchored from that. Really awkward. Well, this is our best bet with Sid to try to take this last tickler down. 40? Whatever. Take it down. Take it down the manual way then. Real damage. Yep. Ready. I knew this mission would be difficult with 20% evasion on all enemies. Come through here. I, dare you. I guess we'll protect the flank, and I'm sure he'll move up probably to right here, so we'll hit him in that position. Is Charlie J going to be okay? Answer? Yes. He will today. I don't think he'll hit anything, but he'll be okay. Oh, I guess I miscalculated that slightly. I th he, we did go right through it. Whoa! I missed. Oh my god! Snipers, though! All right, we're up. I got an idea, boys. So, we zoom. That's plan one. Plan two, grenade this sniper out of here. You need to be able to move. Awesome! And plan three, point blank, lots of damage. 67, it's so bad. Well, let's go for reckless shot. We may as well. No reason not to use it. Wow. Do you have to only hit them a little bit? I'm pretty sure if you hit them for not very much, they don't actually go berserk, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Anyway, the reason I wanted to do this is specifically so we could come up here and chainsaw. I was hoping it wouldn't be all three action points, though, because we will indeed go down. There really isn't much to be done here. En route. Besides, try to knock the Grenadier back with Sid. If I could even throw the grenade. Oh, it's bouncing off the wall. I can't even do it. Okay, this is truly horrendous right now. Precision shot's about the only thing I have. Pray for luck. I missed. Nope, I was hoping to hit and knock him back a little bit, but alas. We done got nothing now. We could chain shot and pray it hits. Okay. Do I saw him up and then get double sniped with Gabe? I would be... Well, he does get one action point back. I had forgotten about that, so the answer is yes. Even still, though, 
This is really bad. We can easily get flanked by that sniper. We can not really deal with this sniper. And there's another doofus up there who can hit pretty hard. That guy's not a slouch either. Any which way you shape it. Let's just come all the way out as far as we can possibly get. On standby. Maybe we can grenade over here. Okay, we can at least do that, right? That's something. Rag going out. Keep knocking him down. Healing anchor healed is actually helping us amazingly. It'd be nice if the enemies actually shot sometimes. Like, why did this guy move and then hunker? As opposed to taking that perfect flank shot that he just set up. I read you. Ooh. Heading out. Do you guys think we can ban that charge all the way down there? The answer is yes, we can. We can't do it directly, but check this out. What's next? On standby. Just need to move as far as we possibly can get. And a charge. You ready for this? God, Gabe just moved all the way around the map. I wonder if Charlie J here... He doesn't have line of sight. That's why he hunkered. He moved and somehow doesn't have line of sight. Interesting. Yeah, we just literally can't see him. All right, we'll overwatch his face. And we have one snipey that needs to be dealt with. We'll deal with him next turn. Let's get Gabe in position. You like that next turn as well? <laughs> yep. We're not going to get a third one on... Oh, he's out of ammo anyway. It's time to get this doofus out of here. He's frustrating. Let's see if Charlie J... Lock and load. And go pro. No, he actually doesn't have line of sight again. What the heck? That's so weird. I guess because it's hunkered. Okay, that makes sense. If he's hunkered behind low cover, I guess you just can't see him. 10%. My god. I never want to play another mission again with low accuracy like this. Painful. Whoops. I think I may not have run into cover there. No, I did. We're good. Oh, there we go. Charlie J did take him down off screen. Killing time. Okay, for the love of God, someone get a yeah. grenade on his face. Nope, literally nobody has a grenade ready. And we can't hit him to save our lives. We'll get there. We'll get we'll get there eventually, boys. I'm on it. You got incoming. Moving. That's what he's gonna do with his final turn. I mean, think about this though, right? If you were defending this map, defending this objective. And everyone had to come at you from down below in weird little narrow corridors. You would probably overwatch camp this place too. So it makes sense. Nice. Easily peasily. Just slow and steady. Bit of a grind, that one. Ooh, passive skill expertise. Not even sure what that is. Rare case, epic case, rare case, epic case. Wow. Two and two? Let's go see. Yes. Level five, level five. Beautiful. Charlie J hitting level five is probably my next big objective. All out. All damage dealt and received by this unit is increased by 10%. Interesting. Evasion, 7%. Not sure who I would want to give that to. 10% damage reduction, 20 health. Not bad. 
Damage 40 on the Mulcher. Eh. It's all right. And utility belt. Frag and stim are reduced by three? Are you insane? Wow. Okay. And also 30 health. All right. First, we have Sid. Passive skill. 75% damage reduction against first attack each turn. That's like the ultimate tank ability. I think we'll go Rally. Which gives us the ability to give everyone Leech within 8 meters. All damage they do heals them for 25% of the damage they deal. Now, certain people can heal the full with that almost instantly, so... Seems like a half-decent bet. Ooh, Michaela has the ultimate shot, boys. Shoot! If the target is downed or killed, get maximum actions again, because we didn't have enough. <laughs> So, we're gonna take a run and gun. The first time this unit moves in a turn, it gains 50% damage for the turn. Now, that alone is unbelievably insane, because we can move and take like 18 shots, probably with all the action economy we now have with Michaela. On top of that, we also get 20% accuracy bonus when we're at height, over the 20% we already get at height. So ridiculously strong. Also so ridiculously fun. Let's bump up to the ranger boots here. One movement and seven evasion from the 0.5 movement and five evasion we have now. Just a straight upgrade. So autoloader is pretty cool, I have to say. 60% chance to reload one ammo every turn. However, the onyx shell for going all out 10% extra damage, plus the 50 we get from run and gun, <laughs> it's gonna be insane. We're going to have to go for that. And the time has come, boys, to upgrade Cinnamon. We had potential, giving us 40% chance to have a random skill reduced by two turns on the uh, cooldown and seven evasion. That's nice and all. But the Ur Regulator gives us 30 health. Looks ridiculous. It's got like its own little face, its own little face snout there in the middle of it. And we get 25% extra to frag and stim grenade effects. Which, we already have, like, basically zero cooldown now on Cinnamon. In fact, we're gonna buff them up even more by upgrading Horror to Boots. She currently has this utility belt. Which is giving her two turn reduction and 20 health. But we're gonna upgrade that to the one we just got. Which is 30 health and three turn reduction. Beautiful. Now, let's make sure she's the one with the grenade. I'm pretty sure, yeah, plus 75 damage. <laughs> it's just all... Look at her, boys. Look at her. Decked out. That just looks good. Plus, it's got some kind of weird tube on the back. I'm not sure what that is. Now, what's this grip? We have plus three accuracy right now. Expertise. This unit's skill cooldowns are reduced by one. What? So we now have a four turn reduction on our grenades. I'm assuming it also includes grenades. What? Maybe it's just shooting? No, I don't think it's just shooting. Either way, this is the most unbelievably overpowered thing I've ever seen in the entire game. Because most of Cinnamon's abilities are like two or three turns. So that is ridiculously strong. Charlie J is currently using the power handle for 30 damage, but wow, look at all this stuff we have. So I've learned about the focus now. The unit gets 100% critical hit chance. The effect ends the first time it gets a critical hit shot, but that's every turn. It should say every turn. So 100% crit every single turn. Let's go for the legendary focus handle. 100 crit basically constantly. Gabe currently has 20% extra overwatch, but we rarely actually deal damage with him. So let's give him the mobility instead from the plus one movement. And that is really sweet. I love these characters. They're just awesome. The only thing I don't like about this game is that it doesn't give me a reason to have, like, 50 awesome characters and it doesn't last 7,000 hours. Pretty major complaint. <laughs> Act 2, Chapter 8 for one times legendary weapon mod. No optional objective whatsoever. The snare is ready. Lure Ukon in, spring the trap, and take him out for good. Michaela, Sid, and Gabe are required. I can't bring Charlie J over Cinnamon, boys. I love the blue, red, blue, yellow, though. 
And we're obviously not going to bring Cole. Cole's good for uh, small fights against lots of enemies. Against boss fights, though, what's he going to do? Bounce off the enemy? Come on. We have to bring Cinnamon. She's just too fun. Wow. But she's going to be even more fun now, too. Plus, she comes with a built-in sleep and roll for aggressive sleeping, should the need arise. Although, I don't think you guys will have a need arise for sleeping, because the next episode is the Act 2 boss battle. The final battle of Act 2, in case it wasn't clear what I'm talking about. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Now, we got crazy crit on Sid, but wow, 29% chance to hit. Range 41, modifiers 20, that's from the mission, I believe, and 10 from the evasion. That's right, the mission has 20% chance to miss on everybody. No wonder why things are so hard to hit. We have a 10 with precision shot. That's precision over here. Miss.